Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video um, in case anybody finds themselves in the same boat that I am in. Uh, I was rearranging my home theater system and unplugged the PlayStation 4, uh, went to plug it back in, and got some error messages. As it booted up, it told me to connect my controller using a USB device and to press the PlayStation button. And once I did that, it brought me to this screen here. Uh, the safe mode that says I need to connect a USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation of 6.0.2 or later. And then it tells me where I can go to download the update file. So I just wanted to make a video uh, showing the steps how to get this PlayStation back to life. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do what it tells us to do and transfer over to a computer real quick get these files onto a USB drive. Okay, so here we are at our computer. Um, we've got a couple things that we need to do in order to get these files uh, from the internet downloaded and onto a thumb drive. So let's go ahead and insert the thumb drive that we're gonna wanna use. Um, right now, PlayStation is recommending that it's about at least 1.1 gigabytes uh, worth of storage. So you're gonna want a fairly large um, hard drive, thumb drive, in order to do this. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, open our file explorer after we've installed or inserted our thumb drive and find our USB drive here from the list of available files. And then we're going to right click, go ahead and go to format, and then go ahead and make sure that we format it in FAT32. Now, doing this is going to delete all the files off your thumb drive. So make sure that if you have anything important on that thumb drive that you take it off before you do this. And again, it's warning us. We are going to erase all data on the drive. Uh, if you're okay with that, go ahead and click OK. And format is complete in that FAT32 uh, style there. Now what we're going to do is open up a web browser and we're going to want to come to this page here. The easiest way I've, I've found is to just Google PlayStation reinstallation files and the top search result brought me to the correct page. I will also put this web address in the description of the video so that you guys know how to get here. Once we're here on this page, <clears throat> we're going to scroll down and keep going towards the bottom to where it says perform a new installation of the system software. Um, I tried just updating it, but where the files seem to be corrupted, um, I just am going to do a fresh install of everything. Um, so we can go ahead and click agree and download now to start the download of this file. And you can see that this file is about 980 megabits. Um, originally I had tried to do just the reinstallation files and that did not work. Um, so I recommend, like I said, scrolling down to where it says perform a new installation of the system software and clicking that link. Make sure you have the right file. So it's going to take just a few minutes here for this to download. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the video so that you don't have to wait uh, while this downloads. Okay, so now that we have the file downloaded, let's go ahead and go into our file manager, go to our USB drive, and we're going to right click and create a new folder. We're going to name this folder PS4 in all capitals. Let's go into the PS4 folder and create a new folder called update. Again, all capitals. And go into the update folder. This is where we're going to store uh, the reinstallation file that we just downloaded. Um, if you're using Chrome, you may see it there across the bottom. You can also go up to the upper right hand corner, click downloads, and you can see the file that we just up, or downloaded called ps4update.pup. I'm going to select show in folder 
copy and then I'm going to go back to that USB drive PS4 update and paste that folder or that file <clears throat> once this is finished uh, moving the file over you can right click your USB drive and select eject and go ahead and take out your uh, thumb drive and we're going to take that over to our PlayStation so we're gonna go ahead and do that okay so here we are at the PlayStation we have the device powered off and we've inserted our USB drive into the port we're going to go ahead and hold down the power button for seven seconds or more you'll hear the first beep and then we're gonna wait until we hear that second beep and then we can release the button. This boots our PlayStation in safe mode. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off the lights so we can see the screen. It'll tell you to connect your, or your controller using a USB drive, using a USB cable, excuse me. Press the PlayStation button, and then here on this screen, we're going to initialize the PS4 by reinstalling system software. Scroll over, click OK. After you select OK, the system should go through the initialization process uh, where it essentially installs all the files that your PlayStation will need to operate normally. Uh, as part of this, it deletes the users and saved games, etc., that you may have had on your hard drive. Um, but if you're installing a new hard drive or upgrading, then that won't really be an issue. Once the software update is complete, you can go ahead and follow the basic prompts to reconnect the PlayStation to your network, uh, sign in using your PlayStation Network account, etc., and your PlayStation should function as normal. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd be happy to help. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.